Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. We are going to be talking about all the new makeup releases, stuff that is out, stuff that's about to be out and coming soon. I am very excited. I am doing these videos every Friday. Um, I've done a couple now this year and I'm going to try and do them every Friday as long as there is enough makeup releases to talk about. And this week was insane how many new launches have kind of come up. It's very exciting, some really fun stuff and I cannot wait to talk about it. I've been literally so excited for this video all week so let's go ahead and get started basically I'm gonna go through all the new stuff that is being sneak peeked on trend moods Instagram page um, and I'll tell you guys if I'm gonna purchase it or pass on it so the first thing I wanted to go over today is Urban Decay's new launch. This is a new palette from them called the Naked Wild West. <laughs> I don't know why they keep using the Naked name. I think they would be fine just to call it Wild West. Like, we're done with Naked, let's move on. I just feel like they kind of cling to that so that they think that maybe more people would buy it because it has the name Naked in the name and I guess... I mean, it is still kind of a neutral palette with pops of colors, but I don't know. I feel like they just, they should just call it Wild West. I will say, I absolutely love, love, love the packaging on this one. It is beautiful. It's kind of a desert-themed palette, so it has like this almost snakeskin multi- colored pattern. It's stunning. They've been really killing the packaging game lately, so love that. And then the inside is really pretty as well. It definitely reminds me of desert tones. So there's like warm colors, some earthy tones. We also have these pops of teal. There's like an aqua and a silver in there that look really nice. I'm actually excited for this one because it feels like it's something I would really like from them. I know it's the last palette they had, like the ultraviolet. There wasn't enough mattes for me and this one looks like there's plenty. So I'm excited to get this one. It's actually available now on Nordstrom. They released it early on there so I went ahead and bought it. I don't think mine will be here though probably till next week but I'll definitely film a video once I have it in my hands and do a couple looks with it but I am really excited for it. This is definitely my kind of colors. You guys may know but I am a neutral makeup lover. Um, this palette is getting kind of a lot of hate on it but this is my kind of style. Like I like neutral colors with pops of color. So that's kind of what I gravitate towards and I know a lot of you guys are the same way. That's why you follow me and you like a lot of the same palettes that I like. So I did buy this and I'll let you guys know how it goes, but if you guys want to pick it up, it is available on Nordstrom. I'll link it down below. It's available February 8th on Sephora, but I like it. I'm excited to try it and I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Hopefully, the metallics are really good as well in here, but I'm glad they added more matte shades this time around. Next, I wanted to talk about this is a new skincare product from Fenty Skin coming soon. It is their new The Flash Snap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. I think it's a cute name. I like that. I actually haven't bought anything from Fenty Skin yet. I've heard very mixed opinions. A lot of people said that it's just not like anything spectacular. It's basically just Rihanna's name on the packaging and that the products weren't really that great. So I haven't really felt the need to buy anything. But if you guys were like, oh my gosh, you have to try out this product that you absolutely love, I would totally look into it, but I just really haven't heard that amazing things about their stuff. This is for $32. Um, you can also get it with an eye massage tool for $42 if you would rather do that. This is going to be available February 12th on their website. It doesn't say when it will be available on Sephora, but I'm assuming it will. But I think this is going to be a pass for me just because I haven't really got into Fenty Skin. This next collection, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I was so excited when I saw it last night. This is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. You guys know I was just talking about them in my TJ Maxx video because I've been finding so much of their stuff at TJ Maxx. I was like, I really hope that they can still put out new launches. I don't want to see them go away. I know not many people talk about them, but I feel like I'm in love with so many of their things they put out. They make really great quality makeup, and I want to see them do well. I definitely want to buy this collection. It's called the Cafe Collection, inspired by decadent swirls of cream and coffee. Ugh, the packaging is beautiful. So there's quite a bit of things in this collection, including a new extra shot caffeine concealer and foundation. Now, I can't decide if these are two different things or if it's just all in one. I'm assuming it's a concealer and foundation in one because from the promo pics, 
I think they look the same, but um, this says it's a creamy full coverage. It's caffeine infused, which is super fun. Long wear, crease resistant, natural looking, um, good for blemishes. It's a buildable foundation for a smoother, more even complexion. It has caffeine oat extract, and then it does say it has five forms of coconut. I'm a little bit worried about that um, just because I know if it has like coconut oil or something, that's not the best for acne prone skin. My skin's been doing really well lately, so I don't want to mess it up in any way way but yeah I'm curious to see what the actual ingredients are but I do want to try this out it says it has 30 shades it's going to be $39 launching on February 8th on the Sephora site and also on Marc Jacobs there's also these Omega Times 3. It's a powder, blush, bronze, and highlight in one. So it looks about the size of their bronzer pans, which are pretty large, but it's split into threes. These look so pretty. The packaging, though, is everything. I love the marbled look. And um, I think I will buy this, even though the bronzers, there's two different shades. There's the more deeper tone and the lighter tone. There's Tantastic, which is one of my favorites, and then the other one is Tantric, I believe. No, sorry, Tantalize. That's the deeper tone. There's also a blush and a highlight in each of those palettes. These are $49 each. I will end up picking up one, I think, even though I already have the bronzers. I really want to try this, even though I don't love like split pans like this because I don't like when my other products mix together, but I think since these are separated with a little ledge in between, they won't mix together as much. But I definitely want to get one of these. It's too beautiful not to, so I'll probably get the one with Tantastic, and maybe I can declutter my Tantastic because mine's pretty old. We'll see. They're also coming out with three new highlighter shades for their eyeliners for $26. I do like the formula, but I'm all set on eyeliner. I don't need any more. There's a blacker coffee, a blacker emerald, and a blacker current. So yeah, I'm definitely getting two things from the collection and I am very, very excited about it. Next up, we have some new Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's been a hot minute since we have seen anything new from this brand. Her last launch was the highlighter palette, which I did purchase. I actually did like mine, but I don't like that she keeps doing these limited edition things. Like, I want to see some permanent stuff. It's also very upsetting to see that she barely posts on this company's Instagram page. Like, if you are a company, you need to be posting. You can't go, like, months and months without posts and then randomly when you have a new launch post. Like, this is an actual business. So, that is kind of, like, what is going on here. Because, yeah, she didn't post since September 1 and then all of a sudden, two days ago, we have the new Love is Blind collection. Anyways, I really like her highlight palette that she came out with last time, and I did not mind the lipsticks. I thought, like, I enjoyed the colors I got. I liked them. I know there's so much controversy with those. I think for this collection, I will be passing. She's doing it so weird where it's all, like, mystery items. Like, it's a mystery box, but she everyone gets the same things. So I guess she's thinking that way she'll make more money off it. I don't know because that's kind of what Jeffree Star does with his mystery boxes, but <sighs> these don't look exciting. I want, like, permanent stuff that is going to be around for a while and I can recommend. I don't want random collections that is just coming out. So I'm going to be passing the on these. There's a lip locked set for $25, which she did show the colors of the liquid lipsticks. There's three red shades. Not really interested. There's a Light of My Life set for $45, a self-love starter kit for $35, and the For the Love of Makeup for $65, which I think is the full collection. This is available today. It's going to be available at 11 a.m. PST, so probably by the time you're watching this, it is available. If you're curious, I will link it, but this is a no for me. Next, we have KKW's new launches. To be honest, I don't buy anything from this brand. I bought stuff when she first launched a couple palettes and I just really was not impressed. So I've kind of been turned off ever since and haven't really bought anything from them. So I really pass on most of her items. I'm, I don't really get that excited. I just don't feel like her stuff is worth the price. But there's a Matte Mauve collection and a Matte Honey collection. So these are very similar collections where they have the same amount of products, just different tones. So there's going to be a palette in each of the color tones for $45. Lipsticks, three shades in each collection, $18 each. Three lip liners in each collection, $12 each. And it looks like two blushes for $28 a piece. These will be available February 12th and I will be passing on the full collection. Unfortunately, I just don't get excited about her makeup. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from KKW, what your thoughts are. I'm very curious. 
Jouer has launched a new product and a new lip kit. So we just talked about their primers last week, but this week they have a new matte balm, which is very interesting. It's a ultra hydrating lip balm, but it doesn't have a shine or a glossy look to it, which is kind of interesting. I feel like that's very rare. So if you don't like a glossy look, this would be right up your alley. Me, on the other hand, I like a glossy, juicy lip look. So I'll be passing. It's $20. And then the lip kit comes with a lip liner and a shine balm. So I'm thinking just the two products for $36. I'll pass on that. I just found a random Jouer lip kit at TJ Maxx. So there actually was at Marshall's the other day. It had a lip liner in it and like a liquid lipstick and a gloss. It was only $7. Um, but I am going to pass on this. Unfortunately, it's available February 9th. Jouer just hasn't really come out with much that has really got my attention lately. I used to be really into them. Next up we have from Milk Makeup. They've launched a couple new products and we just talked about one last week. So it seems like they are kind of revamping getting some new stuff out there since a lot of their older stuff has ended up at tj maxx but they have a new electric glossy lip plumper i do like lip plumpers but i don't know the shades in this line don't really excite me it says they're sheer but on the swatches they look very dark very pigmented um i'm just not a fan of the ones they picked out so i am gonna pass on these there's six colors for 25 dollars each it has a tingling sensation for the appearance of fuller smoother softer lips instantly and over time so are they saying that it's supposed to make your lips like plump actually interesting i don't know so this is available on their website now and february 12th on sephora but i'm gonna pass and then the other product they launched this is new it's the color chalks by them i feel like this is kind of a revamp of their eye pigments they used to have the liquid eye pigments um but the packaging is kind of fun on these because it says it says that it is a peel off wrapper in a portable reusable tube so to me that sounds kind of like it's like a push pop or something i don't know do you guys remember flintstones push pops is that what they're called the little ice cream things those were so good but that's what it reminds me of i don't know very interesting but i don't think i'm gonna pick these up it's just a eyeshadow that you can glide on you can actually use it for the eyes cheeks and lips though it says and it has a blend of essential oil so it's gonna have a subtle scent it's uh, $18 each in 14 shades i don't know i'm just i'm not super excited about this launch so I think I'm going to pass most of my milk stuff I've purchased from TJ Maxx. So I don't really get excited about single eyeshadows that much. And I haven't been excited about milk makeup unless it's like at a super cheap price, to be honest. So those should be available on their website as well. Let's go over the new ColourPop stuff. Now this is kind of already come and gone. So I'm a little late to the game on the Valentine's Day collection from them. But at first I was kind of excited to see it. But then I like missed everything. And now it's kind of like Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So I feel like they probably won't restock this collection. The only thing I really really wanted from the collection was the blushes. Because they had cute heart shaped ones. But I do already have the heart shaped Too Faced blushes. I know those... They're kind of discontinued now, but I feel like they're the ones who came up with the, like, idea, and that kind of seems what they're inspired by. And the blushes sold out within, like, seconds, so I totally missed those, but now that everything's kind of gone, I don't think I'd be, even be interested if it did restock, because it's just such a time-limited collection. So, I'm passing on the entire Valentine's Day collection. I'm curious to know if you guys got anything. They had a few eyeshadow palettes with their five pans. The, I was almost going to buy the pink one, but then I realized it's basically the same shades that I already have in my Cloud Spun palette, so I really didn't need it. Um, there's a couple other neutral ones, and then they also have a heart mirror, which is really cute. I do like the heart mirror. And there's a Soul Body Face Highlighter in Pink Truffle and a Shimmering Dry Oil in Pink Truffle for $10 in the 4th Ray Beauty set that has like a lip mask, a cleanser, a mist, and a face milk for $24. I still have not tried any... 4th Ray Beauty stuff. There was a heart face stamp which is cute for $8 and then the full collection was $114 but I don't know if they will be restocking these. And then I just got notification that they are coming out with a new collection with Ulta. So let me pull this up. On This is on Hot Fire Makeup. And this is called the Make It Black Collection. It is in partnership with Pull Up For A Change um, for Black History Month. It says they transformed their most iconic products black but this palette looks new. These don't look like old products, so I'm confused. But anyways, 100% of the proceeds will support black founders through the newly established Pull Up For Change Impact Fund. So, 
they are raising five million dollars to support black businesses which i think is amazing so it doesn't really say in much about the collection it just says that it is coming to ulta soon i definitely want to get the eyeshadow palette i would love to support it does look like it's going to be like really pretty rich deep colors hopefully hopefully they're pretty pigmented i know sometimes color pops eyeshadow palettes can be very light in tone so since this is for pull up for a change i hope that these are very deep pigmented colors so everyone can wear them and i do want to get the palette because it looks really pretty there's like a bright yellow and orange a berry and a dark brown um and then one shimmer but it looks like it would be nice and then there it looks like there's some super shock shadows in the collection as well i may end up picking one of those and then there is some lippy sticks and a gel liner in the collection so that's pretty cool from ColourPop. definitely picking up a couple things from that from ulta there is a couple of new brands coming to sephora it looks like the first one's called westman atelier which is on their website now it has foundation sticks contour highlighter blush sticks bronzers highlighters lip suede eye pod shadows mascara and brushes so there's a lot in this stuff um i definitely want to look up some reviews and see if anyone has tried it out before purchasing since it is a new brand and they have a lot if i've hear good things i'd be curious in trying it out they have really cute packaging i'm very interested in their butter powder bronzer but damn it's 75 dollars <laughs> this is very luxurious wow I mean, I can't complain. I literally just bought a Chanel blush for 70 So, <laughs> there's that. Everyone keeps convincing me to buy the dang blush. I bought the Chanel highlight and the blush that just came out. So, if you guys want a video on that, let me know. I kind of got suckered into that one. But, dang, I haven't heard of this before. So, I'm curious to see. There's these iPods shadows that look like Kaja. And then there's this super loaded tinted clear highlighter that looks interesting. $75. So this is very luxurious. I haven't heard anything about it though. And then we also have Liss Beauty, which is coming to Sephora as well. And this is a clean um, black owned beauty brand, which is very exciting. And this one's definitely more my kind of prices, <laughs> more mid-range, kind of like how rare beauty prices are, about 20 bucks for the products. And um I'm really interested in their foundation. There's a No Limits Matte Bronzer, $18, a Triple Fix Serum Foundation for $22. There's going to be cream blushes for $16. I don't really like the packaging, though. It's like triangles. I don't know why. I don't really care for that. But the foundation packaging looks really nice. There's a Gripping Serum Primer, a Triple Fix Setting Powder, and Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil and Brushes. So I'm mostly interested in the foundation... We'll see. I want to see some reviews on this stuff and then maybe I'll pick some stuff up, but I'm a foundation junkie, so I'll probably end up picking that up. And if I hear good things, I'm definitely apt to trying more. This is available February 19th for the List Beauty, but I think the Westman Atelier is available now. Next up, we have a new product from Too Faced. A lot of people are not really into this, but I'm, I might pick it up. It's the name <laughs> that people don't really like. So they have a new lipstick line called Lady Balls. I'm not sure why they named it this because they do have a liquid lipstick in Lady Balls, which was a bestseller for them. It's their best-selling red tone, but I don't know why they would name the whole range Lady Balls and not just like the red lipstick. I don't know. Sometimes the things they do, I just don't understand. And I do agree with people when they say like, okay, sometimes Too Faced caters to kids with the cutesy packaging, but then they have like, better than sex mascara, Lady Balls lipstick. Um, so there is some controversy there, but I am curious in trying one out just to see. I do try a lot of Too Faced products, so I'll eventually be buying one shade at least. But it says it is a lightweight, comfortable texture, 12-hour wear, um, non-bleeding, and it's supposed to have 12 shades. I'm very curious about this because um, it seems like it'll be like a nice satin finish. I'm curious how it's going to be creamy, but also not really budge very much. That's what I'm kind of curious about. But I want to get the shade Work Wife, I think. That one looks like a nice neutral. So I will be picking one up, but I do understand why people are kind of like, what the heck with the name of it? That is kind of iffy, I think. Let's move on. We got some new lashes from Lunar Beauty. I love Lunar Beauty's products. I was very interested in picking these up, but I totally missed the launch. I think they might still be in stock, but... I think it's something I would buy from them if I was also buying something else on their site because I don't want to buy the lashes and then pay like 
what is it, seven bucks for shipping. So I'll probably wait to pick one up. I definitely will in the future get one. They have four new styles that are $15 each. They're mink lashes, or faux mink, sorry. They're called Aries, Nova, Luna, and Stella. I will definitely be picking one up, I think, in the future. I love the packaging on the boxes, too. It's so beautiful. Next up, we have a new launch from Charlotte Tilbury that is coming soon. It is one of their skincare products, so I'm probably not going to buy it. I do like Charlotte Tilbury makeup, but when it comes to their skincare... Sometimes I just feel like it's very overpriced for what you get. I was just watching, I think it was a Wayne Goss video on how Charlotte Tilbury, like her descriptions of products are so over the top. It's so funny if you guys watch it though, like just look at her website's description of products. It's so insane, like the claims that she makes. But this is the new Super Radiance Resurfacing Facial. I think I just said that weird, resurfacing facial, and it's a two-in-one miracle facial in a tube. It has exfoliative glycolic acid to resurface, hydrate, and add radiance for an instant glow, so it seems kind of like the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. It doesn't have the price or anything, but I'm sure it's probably like 80 bucks, <laughs> knowing Charlotte Tilbury products, but I will probably be passing on this one. I did want to quickly go over the new Ofra launch. I kind of talked about this already. I also filmed a PR haul, which I showed this collection as well, which will be coming soon, but they came out with a new Ride or Die collection, which is pretty much all about blush. So they have new blush zers. Um, I tried one out in my last testing new makeup, so I'll link that down below if you guys want to see it in action. They have blush zers, which is a bronzer plus blush in one pan, and a liquid blush as well in these collections. So you can buy these in these duos or you can buy them separately. So I actually used the Unit Blush Zero yesterday, which I actually really liked. It's the more pinky toned one. I also tried out the Crew shade, which I'll insert photos of these as well. The Crew one I didn't really like as much because my it makes my bronzer look orange because too much of that peach color keeps getting into the bronzer. But with the unit one it's more pink so that one looked better on the skin i wore that one yesterday and it was nice the liquid blushes i do like they are 15 dollars. if i didn't mention the blushes are 29 but the liquid blushes are nice but they do take a little bit of getting used to so they're very pigmented and they dry down very fast so i recommend using those with a beauty sponge that seemed to work best for me, so it shears it out a little bit and to make sure it gets all blended. I did try it with my fingers and I got like way too much product on, so it was very hard to blend out because it dried down a little too quickly. So I definitely recommend it with a beauty sponge and then you get a beautiful application. They don't budge your foundation though, if you guys are wondering. So I would definitely recommend, I also have a code with Ofra as always, Leah Janae for 20% off, which works on the collection. I think some of the duos are sold out, but they do have the singles available. All right, I'm almost done here. I do want to talk about a new launch from Odin's Eye. This is a indie brand, so it's not even on trend mood, but this is actually launching today, and it's something that I'm excited about and I definitely want to pick up because I've actually never tried Odin's Eye, and I've been wanting to. So I do like trying new indie brands, and this should be available soon, but they have a new Norns collection. It's kind of confusing because I don't see a photo with like all the details of what is in this collection, so it's a little confusing to see what is all included but it looks like there is a couple different palettes this is the one I'll pull up here that I'm most interested in I think it looks really pretty there's some neutral tones but also these really beautiful shimmers it looks like there's also some like multi chromes in here but I've heard good things and I'm very curious to try the Odin's Eye formula so I'm just gonna throw up a bunch of photos here of everything that's included because I don't have the full collection photo but this is launching today at 3 p.m pst so in a few hours the prices are in euros because this is a swedish brand so i'm not sure what that's going to calculate to in usd but it says 28.90 euros for the 16 color palettes and then they have these gorgeous highlighters coming out that i definitely want um well just one though i just want to get one these are 18 90 euros but there is a couple beautiful shades i'm really interested in the web of destiny color this one just looks so pretty i love the design inside it's just beautiful so i really want to try that i also really am intrigued by this blue one too called a spring of life and then they also have these other palettes that are smaller and i think two different shades these are the mini palettes for 16.90 euros um, I don't think I'll be buying these. I will say this one here reminds me <laughs> of the Urban Decay Glinda palette that came out with Wizard of Oz. This was forever ago with that split pan in the middle. 
Um, but there's two different color tones here, and I'll definitely be... Well, I mean, this one looks pretty, like, neutrals. But I don't really love orange, but it does look nice. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to watch some videos real quick today and see some swatches. But I definitely am going to be picking up at least one palette and one highlighter from Odin's Eye. So I think that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video today. There was a lot to go over. So lots of exciting new launches. I would love to hear what you guys are excited for or wanting to pick up or what you're just not really interested in at all. I love talking about new makeup with you guys in the comments. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.